ups and downs flows of energy that are global, that are probably intergalactic whenever they happen. Um, so first of all, I want to know, did you experience this energy? So let me see, publish this poll for you. All right, so I activated a poll. I want to know if you experienced the energy. If you did, just click me. If not, you can just click no. Um, so yesterday I started experiencing um, just a ton of, of energy and my thoughts were kind of going in those spiral thoughts of like couldn't quite get them out of my head. Now I'm a master of my own energy. And so this is actually really, really unusual for me. I can generally transmute this energy very, very quickly. Um, and this is a this is a God thing. This is a Jesus thing. Uh, who has I've really worked to be able to uh, do that over the years as a metaphysical Christian. But yesterday just felt a little bit different. So what happened for me was I really needed to just process that energy. And I did that through some tears. I did that through some um, kind of walking and making sure I was really, really active and moving my body so I couldn't get bogged down in the feelings. But I had to really, really process it from like very beginning to very end, make sure I felt everything actually very, very actively. And while that's not fun, it's, it can be a very, very helpful tool because when we feel, then we're able to process that energy and we're able to shift it through us. We don't want to get stuck in that energy. So there's a big difference between feeling it and ruminating on it. So yesterday was this just big energy. So before I met with my Awakening Transformation group, which I do every single Wednesday evening, I just did a little research. I just kind of um, Googled you know, astrology today or something along those lines. And I found out, or energy days of 2023. And so I found out that all this stuff was happening with the asteroid Chiron yesterday. And Chiron is the wounded healer asteroid. Now, really interesting, this asteroid was discovered in 1977, and so it's a fairly recent discovery in astrology, and Chiron was the centaur in mythology who taught some Greek heroes, and he was wounded, but he was also a healer. So this is our wounded healer asteroid. So you can go look up exactly what the asteroid is doing, um, but it's it's interacting with another asteroid named Juno, which is all about commitment. And so wow, these two things were coming up for me. So generally Chiron is going to pick your deepest, most unsettled wound, like from childhood or from past lives, and it's gonna like pick at it just a little bit. Even when we have done our healing work, which I absolutely have, it's going to still pick at it just a little bit. And it offers us new layers for healing. So this energy yesterday was intense. When I met with my Awakening Transformation group, Everyone that was uh, there said, yep, I have been feeling it. Yep, it's, you know, th this is where it's kind of the rubber is meeting the road in our lives. And so if this is true for you, welcome. It's an opportunity for you to go another layer into your own healing. I went to bed and woke up and did a little more meditation around this. I did some artwork to help continue that transmutation process and came to just a lot of insights about where I am on this particular, on my own particular wounding, he, wounded healer path. Uh, and we all are, we're all on that path together. So if you want to know a little more about the energy, hopefully this explains it for you. So my wisdom for you is don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. We have to live into it to see what's the layer that's waiting to be healed. And Jesus came to earth for the purposes of radical healing. Astrology and the, the movement of the planets and asteroids and everything that we are in, that you have chosen to be in here on planet Earth, are a powerful way to do that. When we pay attention to the Earth rhythms, to the sky rhythms, they offer us untold opportunities to process, heal, and ascend. And that's what it's all about, right? So yeah, tons of, yes, Lara, yes, absolutely. Tons of residual energy just kind of getting out there. So when I look back, I can see that this actually started for me a week ago. It actually started on February 1st. The irony, St. Bridget's Day, which I love. But I can see that it was beginning then and it was building, building, building up into this um, kind of crescendo yesterday. And then because I have all of these tools, because I am someone who is you know, mastering her own energy and working with metaphysics all the time and working with my guides and working with my angels, I was able to recognize what was happening and I was able to, trans, um, to transmute this energy 
relatively quickly compared to what it would have been 10, 15, 20 years ago, where I probably would have been stuck in this energy uh, for, for much, much longer. And so when you have the tools available, it doesn't mean that you don't feel the energy or that you don't experience it. It just means that you have tools to be able to manage it to see what's going on and to access the deepest layers that you need to in order to become the person that you are absolutely meant to be, the spiritual being, the, the ascended person that you're meant to be. We're, we're becoming more like Christ who said that we can do all of these things and more. So that energy is super real. Chiron is a very, very powerful, um, nitpicky little, <laughs> nitpicky little asteroid that will just um, keep on at us until, until we complete the healing that we are meant to complete. And so there's the energy for you. So um, I hope that I hope that clarifies where we've been and where we're going. You may continue to feel this for a couple of more days. Uh, not exactly sure what's happening with Chiron, but yesterday, the February 8th was the really, really big day. If you are someone who is ready to master your own energy, to find a community of support who can help you navigate all of these waters and find the tools that will allow you to process this energy at the high level and enter into the deepest healing you're meant to, uh, that you are meant to have in your life, please do reach out to me. I have a variety of ways that I support people and I would love to support you in your journey. All right, everyone. Um, happy rest of the week and I hope everyone's energy gets balanced. Uh, reach out to me. You all know how to find me. You can just send me a private, uh, private message or you can send me an email. All right, everyone. Talk to you soon.